Hi, everybody. Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to use the, the calculator and more importantly, the graphing functions of the calculator uh, for the, the air test. So uh, what you see here is what would come up if, if they allowed a calculator to be used on that particular problem. Um, you have a couple buttons across the top, obviously backspace, the clear buttons, uh, the answer button, scientific, calculator, graphing, regression and matrices. Now pretty much you're going to stick to this scientific part here and maybe sometimes scoot over to the graphing. Um, so that's what I'll explain here. So this scientific calculator, you know, that just kind of works exactly like your red calculator. You can kind of ignore um, these buttons over here uh, for right now. Um, mainly just focus on uh, the number pad and then just the add, subtract, multiply, divide, square root and such. Um, so this, again, works like your, your red calculator. So if I wanted to do 9 um, minus 3 times 4, it's going to do order of operations. It's going to do 3 times 4 first and then take 9 minus that 12. So the answer should be negative 3. Um, so it will use order of operations. That means you should be using parentheses when you need to. Um, don't forget to, you know, if I wanted to do, um, let's clear out that, uh, you know, parenthesis negative 2 squared, you know, if I wanted to square that, I would just come right here and do squared and then hit enter or just, you know, positive 4. Okay. So um, that that's how that would work. Just a basic add, subtract, multiply, and divide with these functions down here. Um, if you wanted to do like a square root of nine, say, you would just do square root of nine and your parentheses equals three. Okay, so that that's a pretty easy, you know, version of the calculator right there. Now, when I click over to graphing, you get a whole new set of windows over here. Now, this will allow you to use it like a graphing calculator, like those big calculators that, you know, we don't make you buy yet. Um, so what I want you to do here is just play around with and use this the graphing function. So I want to have I want you to have this pulled up in a separate tab, um, and then you know I want you to type in two x plus one. Y is equal to two x plus one. It's going to graph two. You're going to click on two, and then over here you're going to see this x variable button. That's how you click the x, and then plus one plus one. Notice that if you're trying to use the number pad, it won't let you. You're going to actually have to click on these things. And then you can graph it. Click over here on this graphing section and look, it's got it's got this y is equal to 2x plus 1 line. y intercept of 1, slope of 2. We'll look at that this chapter. You can move around the graph. Um, you can zoom in or zoom out. Um, and you can even go look at the table. You know, we're not going to look at this too much, but you can click on the table, look at the dimensions of the window it gives, and then even go back and, and graph some. So if you had not already, pause the video and plug in that 2x plus 1. Okay, now we're going to test out another one. Let's try negative 3x plus 4. So you're going to come over here, negative 3x variable plus four. Okay. Hit graph and see what it looks like. Pause and do this if you have not already. And then lastly, I want you to plug in one-fifth x minus two. Now, if I'm going to do a fraction like one-fifth, I've got to start with a parenthesis, one divided by five. That gets us our one-fifth and our parentheses, x variable minus two. And now when I go here to graph, you're going to see all three on the screen together. Okay, so now that's the end of the video. That's really pretty much everything that you need to know about this graphing calculator function. I want you to keep this on your screen. I want you to have all three lines there, and I want you to come up and show me and check in with me to make sure that you know how to do this.